The moon. Analysis. Location. 238,000 miles from Earth. Size. One quarter of the diameter of our globe. Temperature. In sunlight, 212 degrees. Temperature. In shade, minus 233 degrees. Distinction. Only extraterrestrial body visited by man. A silvery, shimmering inspiration of mythologists, astrologists, scientists, shaman, lovers, and howling canines everywhere. No celestial object has captured the imagination of humankind quite like the moon. With its vast overlapping craters, the aftermath of a half million meteor strikes, the moon's darkly spotted complexion gives it an almost human countenance. While strong enough to influence our ocean tides, lunar gravity is relatively weak. In fact, a 180-pound man would weigh only as much as a 30-pound child on the moon. As it synchronously revolves around our planet, the moon catches angled sunlight to create its uniquely familiar phases. Space exploration entered a new phase on July 20th, 1969, when the first human touched lunar soil. That's one small step for man, one giant leap. No object dominates the night sky like our moon. It is also a striking object during daylight hours as well. Some astronomers have suggested the moon and the Earth comprise a dual planet system. Our partner in the cosmos has very little atmosphere. And contrary to old wives' tales, it is not made up of green cheese. It is mostly made up of hardened lava, known as basalt. Aluminum and calcium have also been discovered, but very little metal. It is believed that when the Earth was newly formed, it was struck by an asteroid, and material ejected from the Earth and formed a ring of matter. This matter eventually coalesced and formed the Moon. The Moon has one-sixth the gravity of the Earth. During the 1960s and 70s, 12 United States astronauts visited the Moon. In the early 21st century, several countries have announced plans to send spacecraft with astronauts to the moon. The moon. Perhaps since the days when our first ancestors walked this planet, mankind has looked up at the moon and felt a primal stirring to reach out beyond the Earth and grasp the mysteries of space. The moon is our constant companion in our journey around the sun, circling our globe every 27 days. The moon pulls at our tides, eclipses our light, and beckons us to explore the cosmos. Until 1959, we could only glimpse one face of our satellite. In that year, Luna 3 stole the first furtive photos of the moon's hidden side. A mere 10 years later, Apollo 11 astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin stood triumphant on the lunar surface as mankind took its first baby steps in its quest for the star. You don't need to be an astronaut to explore the surface of the moon. Try exploring the moon yourself. Just think of the moon as the first stop on a journey to deeper and deeper space. It is the easiest object in the sky to observe. Binoculars and small telescopes reveal endless details of its composition. Some features, such as dark and light patches, bright craters and mountain ranges are visible even to the naked eye. The first thing you'll notice is that the surface is made up of light and dark patches. The dark patches are known as mare, or sea. They were once believed to be bodies of water, perhaps lakes on the moon. In fact, they are ancient volcanic flows. The lighter patches are called terry and are commonly known as the highlands. These are the elevated areas and mountains. Now look again. What do you see scattered across the entire surface? Everywhere you look, you will see impact craters, evidence of strikes by asteroids, comets, and meteorites. More than a half a million craters can be counted. And look closely at the craters. You will see craters within craters within craters. This suggests that the impacts have occurred over a large period of time over billions of years, in fact. One crater stands out from the rest, and you can see it with your naked eye. This is the crater Copernicus, and it appears to have bright streaming rays emanating from it. Other important craters are Tycho and Clavius. Rays are quite dramatic. 
They are created by material thrown up by meteor and asteroid impacts. Many craters have very steep walls. These are difficult to observe when the moon is full, but when the moon is in a crescent phase, the sun shines on the surface at an angle. Then deep shadows can be observed, and a sense of depth can be perceived. Try observing the moon with a telescope when it is a very thin crescent, and note how deep the shadows appear. The boundary between areas lit by the sun and dark areas is known as the terminator. This is the division between day and night. Features that look like dried up riverbeds are called rills. Rills are dried up lava flows. Some rills are geological fault lines. Study of rocks brought back from the moon revealed that it is made of hardened lava, aluminum, calcium, iron, and magnesium, among other elements, were also discovered. The moon contains very little metal. There is no atmosphere and no weather. No air, no clouds, no rainfall. Films taken during the Apollo missions reveal astronauts bouncing about on the lunar surface. This is due to the fact that the moon is about one-sixth the size of the Earth and has one-sixth the gravity. Recently, several countries have expressed the desire to set up permanent bases on the moon. Bases on the moon may someday serve as way stations for astronauts bound for Mars. How was the moon formed? No one knows for sure, but the most common theory says that a large comet or asteroid hit Earth billions of years ago, which threw a great deal of matter into space. This matter formed a ring around the Earth. Millions of years of gravitational forces eventually formed the ring into the moon. A waxing gibbous moon occurs when more than half of the Earth-facing side of the moon is visible, but the moon is not yet full. A waxing gibbous moon can be seen in the eastern evening sky as the sun goes down.